This is not really a vlog, but I'm kind of going to film it like a vlog because I'm going to do a quick unhaul. Hi, I'm Colleen Delaney. If you're new here, I talk about books and writing. Today I'm going to go through some of my books and decide to unhaul them because I was looking at all my unread books and thinking, some of these I'm not going to read. I just realized I had this big plan that I wanted to read a ton of my unread books that are on my bedside table, which we'll go up to in a little bit. But I was thinking like, I know I'm not going to read some of these and I should just sell them slash donate them instead of keeping them on my shelf and like thinking to myself, I need to buy more bookcases because I don't, I need to thin my collection. So we're going to start down here with books I've already read and thin some. The hardest for me to thin is the book of the month books because I just like don't like to, but I have sold them in the past and I'm overflowing with book of the month books, which we'll see in a minute, but uh, I need to get rid of some books. And also I'm on a book buying ban until I read 14 of my backlist books. And I feel like if I sell maybe like a bunch, then I can like count that as like maybe a couple. <laughs> so let's start. This is as high as my tripod goes and I don't want to put it on the table. So I'm just going to like hunch and get some books out from it here. This is my fiction shelf. I almost never unhaul my nonfiction and honestly I should really go through it. And maybe I will for this video, but not today. This is probably gonna be a video in which I wear different clothes. Okay, so I know I'm gonna sell Legends and Lattes mainly because I just didn't really like it that much. I know a lot of people love it. So I know half price books will buy it from me. Again, Small Town Big Magic. I just didn't really like this book and I know I'm never gonna put it on like a recommendation list. So I don't need to hold on to it. All right, I made a decision. I'm not gonna read this series anymore. I have Kingdom of Copper upstairs on my TBR shelf. And then I realized I read this book like three years ago, maybe four. I read it before I started the booktube channel and I don't remember what it's about anymore. And I just don't feel like reading another, cause it's two more books and they're over 500 pages, another thousand pages in this world. So I'm going to sell both of them. I need to get Kingdom of Copper and bring it down. I'm gonna sell Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. I liked it, I really enjoyed it. I got it several years ago and I'm not gonna read it again. And I don't think anyone in my family's gonna read it again, so time to let it go. I think I bought this at Half Price Books so they won't buy it back, but I might put this for sale on Facebook Marketplace, My Antonia by Willa Cather, because I think they read it at the high school in my neighborhood. So I might be able to get some money off of it. <laughs> Look how much space I already have. Now I don't have to have this series split, which makes me happy. I'm gonna sell The Prophet by Kay Hill Gibran because I really didn't like this book. <laughs> I've got The Anatomist's Wife by Annalee Huber. And this was a book that I liked this book. It's like a very long series, but I don't think I'm ever gonna lend it to anybody. And I know I'm not gonna reread it. So I feel like it's just taking up books space. Keep everything else in this shelf. This entire shelf is Juliette Brillier and I will never sell any of her books because she's my favorite author. Now, let's bring it down a little bit. <laughs> okay, we're back. All right, on this shelf, I'm gonna sell The Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton. I do really like Kate Morton a lot, but I don't know anyone else who reads her. Her books aren't rereads, and they're not really the type of books that I would use, honestly, on YouTube to like put on like a list. Like this isn't like a spring read or a fall read or like the best historical fiction I've ever read. So. I feel like it's just time to sell it. And I think I will be able to because a lot of people like her. This is a book of a month book I have over here because it wouldn't fit over there and I was tired of having it on my shelf and I'm gonna sell it. Clytemnestra, I just didn't, I just couldn't read it. I don't know. It's got like such good reviews on Goodreads, but just not for me. Okay, so that's all for over here. I'm trying to decide right now if I wanna go do my book of the month ones or if I wanna do them later. Let's go do my TBR shelf because I don't think I'm emotionally prepared yet to do my book of the month books. It's really messy in here and I apologize. Um, I actually just filmed my January wrap up and I totally forgot to put in there that I read the first 116 pages of Fifth Mountain by Paula Coelho and just decided I didn't want to read it anymore. Um, I think I'm going to give this to my mom though because I think she'd like it, but it is going to be an unhaul. I just took my bookmark out. That's my first one. My Bottom shelf here right now is a mess. I usually keep it cleaner if I'm in a film, but I didn't. So there's like a lot of like tarot cards and coffee table books over here that I read before bed. Technically a book of the month book, but I'm gonna sell Babel because I'm not gonna finish it. I read the first hundred-ish pages, 120 maybe. I read like the first part and then a couple more chapters. And it just wasn't for me. I know a lot of people loved it, but it just wasn't the right book for me. The book I wanna get is all the way at the bottom. So bear with me, I'm gonna have to reorganize a lot. Okay, there it is, Kingdom of Copper. We're gonna say goodbye to it. And I'm just looking and that might be it for my TBR shelf. It might just be those three. I feel like I want to give myself a little bit more time on some of the other ones that I'm feeling like not necessarily super excited about reading right now, but 
I don't know. I don't want to just give up on some of them yet. Let's go do book of the month. Welcome to my book of the month corner. Uh, you can't even see them all. So this is my historical fiction. Down here's my contemporary fiction. This is my thrillers, mysteries, and gothic fiction. And you can't see down here I have fantasy, magical realism, and YA. There's too many. <laughs> Not that I don't love a lot of these, but there's too many. I need to thin it out a bit. I've got book of the months just coming constantly. And some of these I'm never going to recommend again. So time to go through them. It's a weird thing because I'm like looking right here. We've got, none of this is true by Lisa Jewell. I really like that. I'm going to put that on more lists. I'm going to keep it. The Cloisters, I absolutely love that book. Small Angels, I didn't necessarily love, but it was a very specific genre. Cottage gore, like dark cottage gore. And I feel like I do like recommending that in the spring, so I'm going to keep it. And I really liked Arsenic and Adobo, so we're going to keep those. You can't really see up here, but we've got Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham is right here. And then Two Simone St. James, which I loved, and The Family Game by Catherine Stedman. Of those four, I think I'm going to give away the flicker in the dark which if I can get it down oh, I don't remember what this one's about oh I do remember what this one's about now maybe I won't give this one away when I say giveaway I mean sell for money um I don't know I don't think I'll read that again why give that to someone I'll see if my sister wants it I think okay the last word I didn't like at all so I'm definitely gonna get rid of that one Put that in the pile. And then the writing retreat I love. Daisy Darker, I liked. She started it, I didn't really like. So let's get rid of that one. Dark Corners, I liked. The Golden Couple, I liked. What Lies in the Woods, I liked. No one can know I liked. Brothels, I liked. Okay, so let's stop there for that. Which I didn't really get rid of that many, but I do what I can. <laughs> I'll reorganize that later. Okay, so let's move down to this pile. Magical Realism, I have Other Birds, absolutely loved. History of Wild Places, thoroughly enjoyed. Wayward, really loved. The Wilder Women, I wasn't crazy about, but I might keep for a little longer. Sometimes I'm like, I just want to keep that book for just like a little bit longer. And then eventually, maybe a year from now, I'll sell. Wilderness of Stars, I really liked. And What the River Knows by Isabella Benias, which I did not like. Hmm. I don't think I'd ever put it on a review. It was already in my book of the my book of the month of the year because it was a November pick. So I already reviewed it for that. Because I do keep them until I do that video. This one I think is gonna be a sell. I just can't see myself giving it to anyone. Maybe one of my friends, but that she doesn't live here. And so it would be like impossible to get it to her unless I went across the country and brought that book, which I'm not going to do. Okay, now we're gonna move into fantasy. The top three right here, which you can't see, are um, two Adrienne Young books, The Unmaking of June Farrow and Spells for Forgetting, which I really liked both of those, and then Siren Queen by Nevo, which I loved. So I'm not gonna give away those. We have Last Hill the Fa Flower Bride, which I didn't really like. So let's put that one there. That was a weird book because I feel like if that was a 50 page short story, I would have loved it, but it was just, I don't know, wrong, the wrong length for me. The Invisible Hour by Alice Hoffman. Adored that book. Cersei, one of my favorite books of all time. Spinning Silver. I liked that book quite a bit, and it does have, like, great winter vibes, so I'm going to keep that. Fortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic. I did not like. Let's sell this one. Ar Ariadne, I love. The Cartographers, I tried to sell, like, a year ago. <laughs> and someone told me that they... Someone commented on my Facebook, I'll buy it, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And then... Didn't, I was home, didn't ring my doorbell, didn't anything, and then was like, you weren't there, I don't want it anymore, so maybe I'll try and sell this one again. Maybe that person will come back. <laughs> okay, so that's all fantasy and magical realism. Okay, I'm making pretty good strides. I mean, I'm not giving away, I'm not getting rid of a ton of them, but some. Let's go to historical fiction. The Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis. I actually pretty, li I liked that book. I feel like I'll keep that one. Women of Light, I loved. Vaster Wilds, I hated this book. It was just too grotesque. Uh, Book of Longings was wonderful. The Family, I liked, but I'm never going to read this again. And I'm never going to give it to anybody, so we're going to sell that one. Frozen River was amazing. London Sand Society, I liked. I'll put that on lists. And then I'm going to keep the Taylor Jake and Reads books. Look how fast we're going. I thought this was going to take way longer. I'm not having and hawing as much. And I'm not getting, like, horrible pangs about selling these. I don't think. Maybe some of them. I'll go through again. 
Uh, so the interesting thing about my contemporary fiction, which I can't really lift up because it's too heavy. There we go. I'm missing one. Oh, I gave it to my mom. <laughs> I was like, I'm missing the Hotel Nantucket. I gave it to my mom. She, she's reading it. I've got Banyan Moon by Tao Tai, Advika and the Hollywood Wise by Kirthana Ramasetti, Once Silver Wolves by Charlotte McConaughey. I have some questions for you by Rebecca Mackay, The Five Star Weekend by Ellen Hildebrand, and Mame by Jessica George. And I loved all these books, so I'm not going to sell any of them. So, yeah, <laughs> that's all of them. I did way better than I thought I was going to do. I didn't pull that many. So I've got one I'm going to give to one of my sisters, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if you count Clytemnestra and Babel, 10. And then, so I think I have over 20 books to sell slash give away. So that's a pretty good unhaul. And you know, I still didn't get this under control because I have been thinking like, oh, I need to buy a new bookcase for my book of the month books. I don't really want to do that. I just have to figure out a different way to display them. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I can figure out. I've seen cool things where people like put their book of the months on their mantle, which I think would look really cool. But like, I like having a seasonal mantle and I have small children. So like right now there's like ceramic snowmen all over my <laughs> mantle that they've made and I don't want to take those down. So book storage is a problem. It always has been for me. And I'm just going to quickly show you my nonfiction shelves. It's the reason why I'm not doing them right now. I might do them separately because they're a little literal disaster. And this shelf is my husband's. Those are all his books. But the hard thing is there's also like yearbooks and stuff like that on there. And it's just not going to be easy to go through. But I do need to do that. But I feel like I maybe I'll do that more like in a month or so. So for now, thanks for hanging out for my quick unhaul. Uh, I probably will have already sold some stuff. So don't say to me, don't sell that because I'll just be upset. Then. <laughs> As always, I hope you're in the middle of a good book, about to start reading a good book or about to start writing a great book. I'll see you later.